What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Highly Combustible Reaction. We're jumping into part two of our Aurora journey. Like, yesterday was amazing. It's awesome that she's an artist who not only has empathy towards the world, but is also very, very intellectual and up to speed as to what's going on here or there and knows exactly what to say. She sees the problems just like the rest of us do. A lot of people just are comfortable in the status quo i don't understand how we can just sit by idly but a lot of times it's because we're too busy because we're too focused on the wrong things we need someone like aurora to trip us up a little bit and make us go holy hell i need to pay attention definitely get up and show enemy all the love in the world part two let's jump in let's check it out together see what we got i don't know you, you see people just getting tired of it yeah compared to like 50 years ago when it was so the rage. It was a hoot. Well, that's, it was that's so quite re reassuring. Like, there was a big, there's been a big discussion in the UK this past couple of weeks about whether people want realism in their music and to focus on the bad or escapism in their music. But you've proven that you can do both. You can do both and mm. you should do both. Because art is both. And I think if you do one too much, it gets bad again. You know? Yeah. So to find, it's all about balance, isn't it? Mm. That's what we need. We need both and we deserve both mm. also as human beings. And I read that you went to, you would only write this record in uh, unsafe spaces that made you feel quite alien. I mean, where did that take you? What does that mean? And did that kind of, if anything, make you feel more certain about the things you were certain about already? Um, well, usually lately I've, I have gone to a place, locked the doors and turned them lights down low and then I've made an album. But this time I just, yeah, I wanted to be many different rooms and temperatures <laughs> to write the songs because I needed a lot of, to access a lot of different auroras in this album. And it gave me access to a lot of parts of me that I haven't really faced before even parts I, that scared me a little, very personal parts, dark, the da yeah. I've, I've been exploring my own darkness more, this album. So it is maybe my most personal album, even though it's still about something so big. It is definitely my most personal album in my life. So yeah, I've been learning a lot of new things. Mm. And did that create some new sounds? I mean, it, cause all the singles are blown. There was uh, the new single is a banger. We've also got Conflict of the Heart, which is lovely. Your Blood, that's like a, that should be a Eurovision song. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, what can you tell us about kind of the sounds you explore on this record? Um, <clears throat> well, I'm exploring, it's a very human album. There's a lot of things being played. Um, and it has a lot of different moods because every song belongs to a different part of the process for me. Um, and the album is, again, very different from these three songs. Mm. But I always like doing that. I like releasing songs that confuses people and then <laughs> fans that I know really like the complexity. Yes. The fans I, I treat like kings and I would never underestimate with my music more songs that are so multi-dimensional to me. I know they're gonna feel very satisfied because there's a lack of it. That's a perfect way of talking about her songs. Very, very multidimensional. Everybody is going to feel it in a different way. It brings some people to tears. It makes other people feel joyful. It all depends. Like There's so much emotion. I, so many things to tell you it's okay to be the way you are, to be a little bit different, to be a little bit quirky, like, take on the world, love, how powerful love is. She just explores so many complex things that we have to deal with on a daily basis. It's very, very relatable to a lot of people. It's healed a ton of people. I am one of them included. Aurora's probably been the most successful doctor in my life as far as healing me. Uh, 
her music just does it. It really, really does. I listen to the other albums on the daily, and I can't wait till I, I can have this one in hand. Because people expect music now to be very instant and very free. Yeah. You know, that's why there's all this shit music going around <laughs> <laughs> on TikTok. But um, there's definitely some shit there's music. There's also out a lot there. of new cool artists, though, mm. on TikTok, which is really nice. And I like that they can. What is it called? A promote themselves. Yeah. Which is really cool. Yeah. I think TikTok Paralyzed. should be used to promote, not you shouldn't write music for TikTok. No. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, but um, what was I saying? Uh, sounds of the record. Different oh, vibes. Oh, was that where I was going? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's very... The rest of the album, actually, except for these three songs, is very different. Mm. And I've been exploring a lot of interesting things. There's new sounds I've never heard before. I've been experimenting a lot. And it's been so fun. Mm. I've had so much fun. I nearly chat myself every day. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I have an issue with that. No. It's a good sign of a good time. It's a good sign of a good time, <laughs> yes. No, I've had such a good time. You have no idea. I've I don't even know how to explain it. I've just been exploring so much and I've been playing so much. It's extremely playful. And I've been working with people that I admire. Like Frederick plays the mandolin so great on one of the songs and this violin player from Norway, Håkon, is just amazing. My friend Nico, we've been having so much fun with Oh, it's just been amazing. Yeah, I'm back with uh, Tom from Chemical Brothers too. Yeah, always. My my mate Tom from Chemical Brothers. We just have a lot of fun. It's always, we're, we, we feel like two aliens walking around. And we just, um, we have the same hunger for something exceptional. That but, just, I don't know. So it's been really fun. I'm really grateful. I just, I texted him in the evening and I was like, Tom, puke. Vomit all over my song, please. <laughs> and he did. Like six hours, for six hours, or four hours. O already four hours later, he sent me back and I kept everything. Just that day glow rave vomit. Yeah. Did you get lost in his garden again, or have you found your way around now? I managed this time to not. I'm trying <laughs> to not do that again. But it's weird, because this time it was his daughter. No, the one time I got lost in the garden, it was his daughter's birthday. And this time, it was his birthday, so I just love bothering them, him and his poor family, <laughs> on their birthdays. <laughs> I never leave them alone. Um, do you have them marked down in a calendar so you can show up and ruin things? Yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> and then I gave him a cookies wrapped in a napkin Yeah. that I found somewhere. <laughs> oh, you found the cookies? Yes, on the ground. No, He's kidding. okay, don't worry, Tom's okay. Mm, is he though? <laughs> Have anyone here heard from him? <laughs> Tom, please write in the comments if you're alive. Blink twice. <laughs> and uh, you also were, I've never said this name out loud before. Chris Greati? Greati. 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 Chris Greati. Um, he's cool. He's what yeah. you probably call a maximalist. Like he brings that out in like Poppy, Youngblood, Blink, Willow. Yeah. What did he bring to your songs? Yeah, that. Because mm. I, I, I tend to go into very dark landscapes and very like floating. I like when my song sounds like a landscape. But I needed in this album to have a few songs that didn't, that sounded like a different part of the, of the process I'm trying to deal with in this album. It is cool to be so and also fun we just to digest fun. it like all. Most of the people I work with are very, there's little uh, plan in it. There's little strategy in the people I work with. It's very based on, mostly I meet them in a bar and I'm like, ah, yeah, tomorrow, to, let's go now to the studio. Or it's very much like, oh, like with Chris, it was that I liked his hair because he had, he had a, not a mohawk, a mullet like a, yeah, back got then. Yeah, like a glam rock Yeah, like a thing. glam rock thing going on. Yeah. And I didn't know who he had worked with before or who he was. But because of the glam rock thing, I was like, oh yeah, this seems very interesting. I feel like I can see already if it's going to be fun. And we had a lot of fun. We laughed so much and we just play, you know. Sometimes it's about the art. 
Sometimes it's about just playing. And sometimes it's about both. And me and Chris, we just have a lot of fun. He's one of my really good friends now. Yeah. So Tom brought out the raver in you, Chris brought out the glam rocker in you, and did Dave Hamlin of Beyonce, King Princess fame, bring out like the diva in you? Um, I remember I had lost my voice when I went to the studio with him. Because mm, it's not often I work with new people. I like to just... But sometimes it's nice to be surprised and to be thrown into the unknown. Not the unknown from that horrible Willy Wonka oh, you saw that. Uh, <laughs> party, but like... Oh, are you not gutted you couldn't make it in time? To... Oh yeah, I was gutted. I would be amazed to see the unknown up close like yeah. that. It's the little and noise the, the kid makes. Why the fuck was he there? <laughs> what does the unknown have to so do? Goes, what is that? Is the un- and the little noise the kid makes. Yeah. And the kid goes like... No, oh, he's so nice. <laughs> and I just love that he was there in the Willy... Like, oh, it's the best thing I've ever seen. I've been, <laughs> I've been really enjoying that. Anyways, <clears throat> but yes, to be well, thrown. What's your next music video? You should recreate the Willy Wonka thing. Sony. Don't out my ideas, oh, sorry, sorry. Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, always. And no, but it's just um, as magical as Willy <laughs> to Wonka. Be into not the more. unknown a bit. I wanted th- this day, and I, th- uh, the day before, I was like, oh no, I want to, c- I want to cancel because I want to do something else. But then my uh, manager was like, oh, but try. I was like, oh, okay, I will try. And I lost my voice because I, I don't know why, but I, I had no voice when I came there. And then I was there for four hours and I was like, okay, I want this, this, this. Can you make it sound like hell? And he was like, yes, I can. Uh, harder, harder. And then he made it sound like terrible. And then I just shouted because I couldn't sing. So I just screamed stuff. And it was really satisfying. And then <laughs> after four hours, I said goodbye. So it was a really fast, beautiful, ugly thing. Mm. But it was just what I needed. Speaking of like that kind of primal thing, you played the drums on this record, right? Yeah, a lot. I love playing drum. But I, but I love... Uh, mm, Not on every song, you just... Because I... Her. Yeah, I don't like to play on a drum kit, mostly because... I'm bad at that, and that's, I find it very little enjoyable then. But I'm a very, very good percussionist. Mm. And I love being in touch with the rhythms, cause, because I don't know what is um, a rhythm you would choose. I can really exper- experiment with new rhythms and new ways to do things, because I love a very big diversity in in the beats, in my music. I think because a long, long time ago I realized that a lot of deaf people or people with hearing disabilities like my music. So I make sure to always have a very vast... Something they can feel. ...variation in the bass region. So it can be felt and the rhythms, because that's, I guess, a very important part. So yeah. I always try to make sure I have a very exciting, rhythmical, I don't know what that was, I have no yeah, words, yeah. but you know what I mean, it's, it's clear, but I know Norwegian <laughs> sign language, and I don't know why everyone doesn't learn, it should be mandatory, like what the hell is going on with the world when we, like so many people aren't included in the basic communication of the world, Yeah, that's insane. I don't understand. Sorry, no, I'm always going on no, this no, huge. No. Well, I, I find the it quite world should, but it makes so much sense. Like, why just the basics? We should all. It should be mandatory. I, I can't totally agree. Believe, I really can't believe it that we aren't there yet. What's your favorite bit of sign language? Oh, um, in Norwegian, this is bullshit. I don't know if it's that the same of, of, of the world, but it's really nice. And also the way they... Uh, I, I just love the way it feels, the alphabet. The alphabet is kind of similar to... I met someone in Vancouver that we kind of could speak to each other a bit. Uh, thank you is the same in many places. Uh, but in Norwegian we say a thousand thanks, so it's like a thousand thanks. Um, and I, I really like the word communication possibilities. <laughs> Because it's so funny. (laughs) (laughs) 
Sign language. The vibe of this record, how do you think it's going to change the live show? What can we expect from these um, upcoming gigs? Oh, yeah. I'll, mm, some change. I'm watching the one of my favorite shows in my childhood and adulthood was Avatar, The Last Airbender. Yes! Nothing Absolutely. Really. We don't talk about that. And I love, I've always felt like I was air or water. And I feel like people are so scared to change. I've said it since we first met her that she's some sort of elemental force. That she is definitely not, not, not just like you and me. Like They're scared something of me totally changing. Magical They're scared there. of the world changing and themselves changing. But that's the most beautiful ability we have, I think, is that we can change all the time. It's so freeing. Jesus Christ. But I, it will change, yeah. I want oh, more air. I want to create more space, I think, forward. Because I love dynamics and air. And I want every song to also have, like, huge balls. Yeah. Excuse <laughs> my language, but yes. But Royal Albert Hall, I mean, that's... <laughs> Plenty of space Aurora for being yeah. typically Aurora. Royal you can't you can't dislike it. But Royal Albert Hall, big venue, big show. Excited for that? Yeah. But I'm excited for every show. Yeah. I'm just excited in general. And Glastonbury? Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. I think by the time this comes out, it'll be announced. If it's not, we'll cut it, but we should be safe. Glastonbury! Yeah. Glastonbury, yay! Which we all totally know about. Heck yes. <laughs> Mathematics. <laughs> In the name of the mathematics, I will conquer Glastonbury. I feel like somehow I have to redeem myself there. Because every time I go there, I, I've always had a holiday for like a month. And boy, do I know how to take a time off. So I always come there all shriveled like a raisin. <laughs> like, whoa, like into the business. So this time I'm going to... Come back, pulp oh. and sweet like a plum. But Glastonbury is good for spiritual healing, though. So is it though? Doesn't no, people it's not. die so people there? People say that. People just take. It feels like the and... world's worst spiritual place I've been. It's fun though. It's really fun, but I've never come back feeling better than before I left. That's but right. I love Glastonbury because <laughs> it's so iconic, and just don't make sure that if you're going to use drugs, that you know what's in it. There should be like a testing if people are going to do it anyway. They oh, should they be have like, that in yeah, they do. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. So test your drugs, but most importantly, don't do drugs. Fucking stupid thing to do. Any more amazing advice? There you have it. Uh, don't do drugs. Don't be a donter. Do be a doer. Don't be a awesome. donter. Aurora, thank you so much once again. Thank you, Andrew. Cheers. Hey, I absolutely appreciate it. Get over so NME, all the love in the world. Shout out to Maria for bringing us an awesome interview from one of our favorite people ever. Just She's just so damn magical. There's so much healing that can take place if you give yourself over to her music. Definitely shout out to all the warriors and weirdos of the world. Smash the like button if you liked it, the dislike button, but I won't believe you. Tell the next one of my the combustible. You guys be happy, healthy, safe, and let me to the moon and back, peace.